there's no shortage of restaurants around the Eiffel Tower, but a lot of them are super touristic. And people always ask us, where can I find a nice restaurant around here? So in this video, we're gonna take you to three gems within walking distance to the Eiffel Tower. We're gonna take you to a cafe, a bistro, and one that is attached to a Macaron Michelin restaurant. It's a little bit of fine dining, but delightful. Allez, on y va. Today we're having lunch at the Café du Commerce and this is on the Grinnell side of the Eiffel Tower and it is a hustling, bustling, very much neighborhood kind of a restaurant. It has tall atrium size, you know, like, like three-story high ceiling in some places with plants inside. It's just a delightful little spot. We definitely recommend having a reservation if you're coming here and the food is excellent. This is typical where the locals go and we are having just a delightful lunch. I got the rump steak limousine from the Formula Midi which comes with french fries. Very simple. It doesn't look like a lot on the plate but it's very filling, very satisfying and pretty darn delicious. And put that together with a glass of Pinot Noir and your lunch is complete. And Antoine got the hamburger, which was fabulous. Just, you know, brimming with flavor. The little sauce comes with French fries. That's a great burger. And in this restaurant, the formula lunch comes with the main course and a dessert and a cup of coffee. I took the profiterole and Antoine got the dessert du jour, which was a fabulous giant vanilla macaron with ice cream and caramel sauce and creme chantilly or whipped cream. And oh my God, it was just so delicious. If you're staying near the Eiffel Tower, or if you're just visiting here, we highly recommend this place for lunch or dinner, and it's just a great option. But remember, you're gonna need a reservation. So today we're gonna go and eat in a neighborhood cafe right around the corner called Osoriz. Follow me. So today we are at Osoriz, and this is a neighborhood bistro, only Parisians here. It's actually quite small inside, they have a terrace outside, which is delightful. Today Colleen and I had a formula lunch, so you can do the formula lunch for 20 euros, either an appetizer and a main course, or a main course and a dessert. So what we do with Colleen is we'll split, she'll do the appetizer and I'll do the dessert, and then we'll split everything, and everything was absolutely delightful. is home cooking really good they don't have a lot of things on the menu they only have like four or five things but they're all good Colleen had the veal with gratin dauphinois which was absolutely delightful and I had pork in a cream mustard sauce with mashed potato which was absolutely delightful like the tanginess of the mustard was like oh super good And we're finishing this meal with a fondant au chocolat, which looks absolutely divine. Somewhere between a brownie and a fudge and a cake. This is a great address. If you're around the Eiffel Tower and you want to have a little French bistro experience, you come right here. And the waitress speaks perfect English and she's super friendly. And if you want to know where the locals go around the Eiffel Tower, right here.
We have heard great things about Le Cocotte and I want to know if it's as good as they say. Let's go try it. The word Le Cocotte means an iron baking dish and that's how they cook and serve the food here. And I'm stealing it. Once last to make sure that it's mine now. <laughs> This is food from the southwest corner of France, right by Spain, and you can taste the Spanish influence and the old traditional French cooking in those crock pots. This place is hustling and bustling with tons of locals, and we definitely recommend making a reservation. We didn't have one, and we got lucky to get a seat. of Sancerre, which is a red wine. It's actually sort of chilled. It's really great wine. Very easy, it's light. Can't go wrong with a Sancerre. offer a formula midi or a lunch uh, formula. I took my chances with whatever they had today. It's, it's the appetizer of the day, the dish of the day, and the dessert of the day. So I just told them to surprise me with that and I was very happily surprised. This was a veal and potato dish with a little bit of spice from the peppers and a little bit of tomato and definitely could feel the Spanish influence and for sure it was a French dish. Here. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Antoine got a beef stew that was just melt in your mouth. They must have cooked it forever. It was fantastic. This melt in your mouth. Uh, this is one of the best dishes I've ever had. This is amazing. This is a symphony of taste. This is amazing. Wow. I'm coming back here. This is one of my new favorite Paris. Wow. Yeah. It's a satisfying end to a meal. That's my childhood right there. The vibe here is pretty modern. It's, you know, clean lines. All the seating here is like high stools and countertops. Very modern feeling, but definitely old school food. And this is an address that Antoine and I are definitely gonna bookmark and we will be back here again and again.